Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing video with me and this new model this is basically a variant of Flux but this new model as you can see has inbuilt in painting control net and everything. You do not need any different LoRa or anything. This one model does it all. And do not worry, you will get the workflow in the description and I'll also show you how you can use the inpainting and control net together with this just one workflow. So let's get started. Firstly, this is the model called Flex2 Preview. And if you go to the files and version, you can see this came out 10, 11 days ago. They also had a previous model and it was also very good. But the great part is that it has the control input and it has built in in painting. So this is amazing. And uh, you can also get uh, the best part is that uh, this is actually very uh, like uh, low on VRAM. The need of VRAM is very low. And even if you want uh, something like uh, like smaller versions FP8, you can get it here. So I'll provide all the links, do not worry. So I am using the FP8 version. If you want, you can use any of these. And when you load up this particular workflow, let's start with this one. This probably this one model will be missing that is flex to conditional. So they have the GitHub page, but you can directly uh, install it from here. Install missing custom nodes and you will get the flex to conditional. Now I'll explain one by one how this is working and how you can start with uh, the control net as well as the in painting, both of them. Firstly, you just need one image. You'll input it here. Here, you will set the width and height. Now, one thing that you can see is that here, this is resizing the image according to the width and height that you have provided. But here I have mentioned that the key proportion is false. So when the key proportion is false, it will always crop to the width and height that you are providing. But if let's say here, and this is for in painting, but I'll show this again. If you keep the proportion as true, you can see that it actually maintains the ratio proportion, even if the width and the height you have given is same. So it takes up one value and keeps the proportion according to it, right? And then it is going to the empty latent. The empty latent is here. I'm just providing the width and the height from here. So basically, if you are not choosing to keep the proportion, this particular dimension will go to the flex to conditional. Now here you have, you can see that I have a positive prompt and a negative prompt. And in the negative prompt, you can mention anything that you like. And obviously like uh, you can keep it at uh, minimum because if we are using the control net and if we are using the in painting, it will get some idea from uh, this particular photo. So you can keep this minimum just to the point. And obviously I'm using the clip loader as GGUF, the loading. You would load the diffusion model that I am using FP8 and the VA is the same as uh, other flux. So now what is happening is that this image. Now remember this particular workflow is for control image control net. The same workflow can be used for in painting and I'll show that. So this one is being used for control image. So this image is coming to the control net pre processor. Right. And you can see this one model. There is no LoRa anything is actually working with depth. And here you can see it is also working with line art. It is working with everything. So here is the depth and the resolution is 512. But what I am doing is that I am again resizing it. The dimensions are coming from here, right? And here, then the image is being previewed because I did not choose key proportion here. So it will be cropped. Like I mentioned, you see 1384, 1384. This was the width and the height, right? Now this image is going to the control image. Here we have the guidance, control strength. This is the control net strength, control start percentage, control end percentage. If you have previously used control net, you would know these values. And other than that, there is nothing extra in here. Here you can see, obviously the seat is getting randomized. 27 steps, Euler, Beta, 
denoising full and CFG one, right? So with this, we get this particular image. So you can see if you crop this image, we get something like this and then this one. I also have some other examples. Now let's come to the line art part. And everything else is same. The only thing that I changed is key proportion just to show you guys. And I did the key proportion as true. So now everything else is same. And you can see the proportion is 1384, 1038. That is the original proportion of this image. Not the exact size, but the proportion. Remember, because it is going to make the width as 1384 from 1280. And here we are selecting line art any you can select the pose you can select canny even the canny works and line art depth anything I selected line art you can see we get line art from here and then everything else is same Euler beta and the guidance I have changed a little bit so you can play around with it so for this you can see 2.7 and here we get 3.2 right and we get this image so this looks pretty good to me it is okay and according to this and remember this is very light on vram the generation is fast it is light on vram and you get everything you do not need any extra lora so this is a plus point now let's come to the in painting so for in painting i chose this image and as you can see the mask transparency is not like it is not completely opaque if you want you can click here and go to the mask editor so here you can see I just selected her top and not completely opaque a little bit of transparency here right so that the uh, model can understand what is underneath and then keeping everything else as same I kept the proportion as true so here one thing you can see what I did was this image is now coming here but I have removed the connection from control image there is no input on control image whenever you see in configure whenever see you see this kind of hollow rings that means these are not uh, necessary like mandatory nodes so you can either uh, either connect them or not I removed the control net image and I joined the image from here directly after resizing and the mask from here because the mask keeps proportion you do not need to change and that is why we actually need to keep the proportion as true because if you get the mask from here and if you don't keep the proportion as true the mask will not align with the photo so we kept that and keeping everything else as same the guidance here is three i use DS beta in this one you can also use Euler I just wanted to show this and as you can see it very neatly changed the color of the top so this is one thing and obviously it works good when you are like going from outfit to outfit so obviously if uh, there was like a longer top it would not it does not work in that way very well that you can make the size shorter and I would not even suggest doing that uh, for any purpose so you can change the color or style of it and that is what we need and you can uh, try it with any kind of in painting here you can uh, see I mentioned blue crop top so you can select the face hair or anything like normal in painting and it works with all of these and here you can see the reason why I showed uh, DS beta is because these are uh, generated using DS beta so here we had the Euler beta for both of these we had Euler but here it is DS and you can see it has a different style of generation and I do like this one as well so this was the input image this is what we get for output again this was the input image this is what we get for output so pretty neat pretty good and you'll get all the links and everything in the description below so let me know what you think of this workflow and if you have any kind of doubts or anything put it in the comment section below and i'll, I'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you